Hi and welcome back everybody. I hope you all are having a great day out there. Third and final update of the day. I can promise you that, but we got some things just in. I want to get out to you all in a timely fashion as it pertains to both Ripple and XRP. If you like this type of content, you like getting it in real time, relevant information, click that like button, give us a big thumbs up, and of course, share this content far and wide. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. DID is now live on XRPL. This just came out about an hour ago. This is our decentralized identifier, guys. This, for those who don't know, DIDs are fully under the control of the DID owner, independent from any centralized registry, identity provider, or certificate authority. Also, as we talk about the stablecoin real quickly, the US Treasury came out here to st today stating crypto stablecoin growth is increasingly uh, putting demand on the treasury bills. So who do you think, as Ripple is an American company, that the United States is going to champion with their stablecoin? I believe RLUSD. Now, uh, Black Swan Capital has put this out on RLUSD. I want to put it out there. The U.S. will formally introduce RLUSD as the solution to the central bank crisis, shifting control to the treasury by gradually eliminating central banks. Also, banks will soon operate under treasury licenses, realigning the global financial system, including BRICS through... XRP. Now, lastly, guys, I wanted to play this quick clip for you real quickly. Uh, it's from Paul Barron Network, about 25 seconds. And then I, I, at the very end, I got a quick message I want to put out as well. We'll play it right here. You mentioned Solana. What about something like XRP? Real answer here is there is no reason why we can't do any of these networks. Mm -hmm. Okay. If our community is asking for it, and if there is volume and capital efficiency needed on those networks, I can tell you now that yes, we will do that. Well, there you guys heard it right now for you XRP army out there. <laughs> you guys can start uh, pounding the, the, yeah. the uh, decks a lot. Twitter Let account. us know. And he puts out XRP coming to the avalanche ecosystem. Very interesting stuff. Now, also, lastly, I want to touch on this because I had some comments in my last video stating how can you say that Nodi is a good guy who I was discussing in the last video about, or one of the last videos, how there was a debate between Nodi and Mikkel, who of course Mikkel uh, kind of helps the community in talking about XRP, does a lot of XRP content like myself as well. And Nodi does XLM content. He's a maxi of XLM. And there was recently a debate, as I talked about in this video on X, formerly known as Twitter. And I stated in my last video about this, look, I don't agree with Nodi about what he's saying in terms of XRP. But what I will tell you is from my encounters with him, which have been few over the years, I believe he's a good guy. And so guys, we got to Remember, there's more to life than just crypto. Just because he believes in XLM and XLM only doesn't mean he's a bad guy. And so I just wanted to set the record straight for that, guys. I believe Nutty's a good guy, even though I don't agree with his opinions about XRP. I do like XLM. I'm bullish on XLM, but I 100% am not a maxi on XLM, as you all know. That's all I got for you for now. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.